Thank you for being part of the recycling community. There are many benefits to recycling. It preserves natural resources, is good for the environment, and may help to reduce your waste disposal bill. However, recycling only works when the material collected is usable. Trash in the recycling is considered contamination, making materials dirty and processing costly. Contaminated recyclables may need to be landfilled rather than recycled. As part of the recycling community, it's essential to work together to keep recyclables clean. Waste Management created the Recycle Often, Recycle Right campaign to educate customers about recycling. These are the three basic rules of Recycle Often, Recycle Right. One, recycle all bottles, cans, paper, and cardboard. Bottles and cans should be empty and cardboard and paper should be unsoiled. Two, keep items clean and dry. Keep foods and liquids out of the recycling. And three, no plastic bags, no bagged recyclables, and no plastic film, wrap, or sheeting. Common materials we often see in the recycling, but that definitely don't belong, include black, white, or transparent plastic bagged material, plastic film, plastic wrap, plastic sheeting and tarps, food waste, paper plates, cups, paper towels, napkins and plastic utensils, bathroom waste, hangers or wires, small appliances, hazardous and medical waste, yard waste, foam, electronics, carpet, textiles, fabric and cloth, and construction debris. Some of this material can actually harm workers and equipment, even ruin the whole load of recycling, or shut down an entire recycling facility. None of us want that. To make sure your employees are recycling right, one, review with all employees and housekeeping the acceptable recyclable materials list. Two, ensure Wherever there is a recycling container, there is a trash container next to it. 3. Designate a specific look for all recycling containers. 4. Display the acceptable recyclable material list as closely as you can to each recycling container. 5. Train housekeeping to put recyclables loose in recycling bins and not in plastic bags. 6. Train housekeeping to identify contamination problems and provide feedback to encourage good recycling behavior. Now that you're set up to recycle correctly inside your facility, let's keep up your good work and prevent contamination in your exterior container. 1. Ensure your exterior recycling container is next to your outside trash container. To prevent trash in the recycling, locate the trash container closest to employee access. 2. Ensure recycling containers are visibly different from trash containers. 3. Ensure recycling containers have accurate, readable signage. Four. Train employees, housekeeping, or janitorial staff to put recyclables loose in outside recycling containers. Remember, no plastic bags and no bag recyclables in the recycling. Five, to keep your recycling clean and dry, make sure lids are closed. Six, locks are also available. We've given you all the tools to recycle right, but we know you can't do it alone. Since you have decided that recycling is important to your business, assign someone within your organization to actively manage the recycling process. Your recycling champion can assist in 1. Training new employees and housekeeping how to recycle often and recycle right. 2. Ensuring employees are recycling often and recycling right. 3. Ensuring the right containers are available and appropriately placed. 4. Making sure signage is visible accurate and appropriately located both inside and outside your facility. 5. Ensuring recyclables are dry, loose and free from contamination. And 6. Working with waste management to obtain any additional information or assistance. Thank you for being a part of the recycling community. Follow these steps to become a best-in-class recycler while improving your business. With your continued support, we can keep recycling clean and green. That's good for you, good for your community, and good for the planet. Thank you.